Hi everyone and welcome to your spring messages pick a card reading. If you're new to my channel, I'm going to explain quickly how you choose a pile. So there's five different piles. This is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. You're going to pick whichever pile your intuition is drawn to. You can pause the reading to really just close your eyes, center yourself, and pick the pile that resonates with you the most. I'm also going to apply crystals if you want to choose a deck with a crystal. All the time stamps will be linked in the description box and in the comment section down below. For pile number one, we have hematite crystal. Pile number two, we have rose quartz crystal. Pile number three, we have selenite crystal. Pile number four, we have snowflake obsidian crystal. And pile number five, we have a red jasper heart. If you're new to pick a card readings, pause this video, center yourself, and pick the pile that resonates with you the most, or pick the crystal that resonates with you the most and connect with your intuition. All the timestamps will be linked down below in the description box as well in the comment section below. Enjoy your readings! Hello pile number one. If you picked a crystal, you picked this hematite crystal. And let's dive in right into your reading. Hello pile number one and welcome to your spring time reading. In this pile you're going to get your goddess card for the season. We're going to get, you're going to have a money attraction card. You're going to have an archangel card as well. What your spirit animal is for this springtime along with a general reading. So let's get right into it. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, pick a different pile from the comment section or the description box down below where the timestamps are. And again, remember this is a general reading. Um, more than one person is watching this reading. These are your messages for the springtime season, which begins March 21st up to June 21st into summertime. Sorry that the video is a little late, but let's get right into the reading. The first card we have is Number two, the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. And here comes Shiva. <laughs> Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Number two also represents teamwork, partnership. And let's just dive into deeper into your, your reading to see what's going on here. We got the lovers card. Number six, Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions, good health. So again, number two, we have like teammate here, and then we have relationships. So this is all about teamwork and relationships, listening to your intuition, What's going on? What are the what this spring season you're going to have harmony come back, coming back to your life or maybe you have harmony now or you don't have harmony in your life. But what is it that you need to have patience for? If you're watching this in the present moment, we are all the whole world's in quarantine. So again, this is a general reading. Take from what it what it is, but this is for the whole spring season up until June. So, let's just dive deeper into like what is going on here because I want to get the full reading. We have the five of air, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. I also feel with this card that you're just running out of patience, which is normal to happen during uh, this quarantine time. You have a lot of stress, a lot of worry, but with time, the, the problems, they're going to disappear. You can't that you have some real relationship concerns and that's why we have this card as well you have some relationship concerns maybe you're by yourself during the quarantine but you're you're having some loneliness and concerns and relationship concerns so you need to work on your communication you need to have patience again really consider what you're doing before you're acting so consider what you're going to communicate before you start this conversation with this person before you start this conversation with this person because you don't want to make an unwise choice but maybe you already made an unwise choice and you just need to forgive yourself and come back into harmony but this card also says review everyone's motives and then it, the first card says carefully consider what you want before acting so it's reviewing yourself but also reviewing everybody else but there needs, there's some sort of decision that needs to be made and there needs to be balance. And Archangel Raphael, he's all about health 
and wellness. He's all about bringing health. He has the healing green energy, the green aura. So call on Archangel Raphael to bring you that healing for your health, for traveling, for your soulmates, if you're looking to have love within this year. But that's what that card represents. Then we have the four of water, which is a missing opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Op open your eyes to the possibilities. This card is going along with the three cards in the background that you're just discontent, you're bored, you're getting agitated, you're losing patience during this season and you really need to come back and realign yourself. Let's see what other cards we have. Again, we have discontent and boredom. Number four, you need more stability. You need a foundation in this season. You need to build a new foundation or a better foundation. You need to build a better routine, better habits within this. But you do, you need stability in your relationships, stability in your home, stability in your internal and external environment. Because we have these two cards and they're both discontent and boredom. Too much discontent and boredom going on, which would be normal if you're in quarantine. And if you are in quarantine, you need to find things that you're not going to be bored with. What is something that you're passionate about, that you love? Maybe it's reading a book, maybe it's writing a book. You need to find something to so that you don't miss the opportunities like this card is saying here. You don't wanna miss the opportunities that life has to offer you just because you feel trapped. Then after all these cards, we have the six of wands or the material and spiritual prosperity. Now, if you see this guy's like looking out, he's reflecting, he's contemplating, he's more grounded versus this one right here, discontent and boredom, he just seems distressed. Just just his whole demeanor, his whole body language. And then you have the four of water, which is the same card as this one right here. And this mermaid is pushing towards the water, having a resistance. She's not, she's only seeing from one cup and she's not seeing the opportunities that are available for her. But after all of what, after this communication, after you sort all of this out, you get this card, which is really great. You're gonna finally feel stable. You gotta let go of the stress and worry. You're gonna have a lot of stress and worry. With this card, this card brings peaceful tranquility and then the times will disappear. So within this spring season, these rough times will disappear. Everything will go back to normal, whatever the situation is. And there's my dog, go away. You're having a lot of stress and worry during these times and a lot of discontentment. Let's look into what your goddess card has to say. We have Vesta, home. This, maybe you're a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a Aries. Your household situation is improving even through a move or a healthy change in occupants. So maybe you lost your job, maybe you're changing jobs, maybe you're moving during this whole crazy time, this season that we call life, but you need to bring more warmth back into your environment. You need to light candles, wear the color red, something or put a fireplace on you or have a cup of tea you need to add warm energy and you need to start investing in yourself you need to start investing in yourself and romance there will be an increased romance something with romance here we have two very passionate romantic cards it's such a general reading it can mean a different thing for different people but she's a roman goddess and she's all about having a warming home so, or maybe you just need to light the flame back into your life because of all this discontentment and boredom but here again we have really positive cards we the high priestess is a really positive card she's saying listen to your intuition you really need to go within you need to light the fire within yourself because these two cards are on top of each other and the high priestess is really a strong independent energy and call on archangel haniel to help you illuminate that but we have positive cards around discontentment boredom and then we have this positive card around the discontentment and boredom so this is just temporary it will be done by the end of the season and then i have a money affirmation card and this one says i am the attractor of my every experience which goes along with everything because everything in your life the boredom 
and the miscommunication that is happening, you need to start attracting your every experience. You need to start making your experiences better. And then I'm gonna just read what this says here. You're meant to live an expansion, exhilarating, good feeling experience, which this is bringing more warmth to your heart, bringing more warmth into your home. Your plan when you made the decision to become focused in your physical body in this time space reality. You were born knowing that you're a powerful being, that you are good. Again, the high priestess, she's a very high prowl, powerful being, which represents you. You are the creator of your experience and the law of attraction, the essence of which is unto itself is drawn is the basis of the universe and you knew it would serve you well and so it is so call on this is your goddess Vesta is your goddess of the season let's see who else is your Archangel we have Archangel Metatron prioritize focus on your highest priorities again we have the two words high highest in these cards so you need to expand your mind think higher Think wider. I will help you get organized and motivated. You have to be open to receive and keep, you have to keep your loved ones close during this time. But what is your heart calling to you? What is your heart calling you to do, calling you to do during this time? Again, the situation isn't worked out how you plan, but your power lie, lies in how you handle yourself. So the, the message during the spring season, it's all about how you handle yourself. You have the power of the law of attraction to attract what you want. Sorry guys, <laughs> it, my thing won't focus correctly, my camera. But you have the power, you are the high priestess, you have the intuition, you have the power within. You need to just go within and ignite that fire and bring it out. So we're gonna pick our last card, which is our spirit animal for this season, which is the sea serpent. Look at that, coming into whole. Everything's gonna come into full circle. Now the sea serpent, usually with these spirit animal cards, with this card, it's usually a fire, water, earth, or air sign, but this one is all about spirit. So you need to connect with the spirituality, with your spirit again, with your soul. With the sea serpent, it's all about healing emotional wounds. It's all about expressing your desires, energy of expression, expressing yourself, bringing that fire energy out of yourself, directing your energy into a healthy current. When you're in balance with this, you're able to express yourself, you're able to be creative, you're able to have the abundance and light up this fire within you. Look at this right here. Archangel Metatron is holding, holding a ball of like flame of energy. Release the fear however you need to release it. Forgive yourself, forgive your wounds. This is a time that you're in the muddy of waters, but this is a, also a time that you could get emotionally creative. Be authentic, work with your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is in the color of orange. It's all about your center of, it's the center of your creativity, your desire. Maybe you are a water element, someone who's emotional, a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. You need to let this energy out. When you look at this, it's a snake, right? When you think of the Kudalini, it goes up the spine and it releases. You need to release and create this energy, you need to express this, you need to bring love back into your life, back stability back into your life. Because you are, you're, unfortunately you're adding to the struggle. And that's okay, forgive yourself, you are a human being. Remember though, you are a spiritual being on a human journey. But yes, call in Archangel Raphael for this healing. Again, we have three circles in here, another circle, circles, there's, a lot of symbolism about everything is going to be coming full circle and you don't see everything. You do not see the full answer. You don't see the full fruition of whatever these challenges are bringing you. But you need to have faith in that and know that you hold, you hold the abundance, you hold your happiness, you hold the wealth. You, you just need to open, be open and receive. When you look at these two cards, they have their hands open. So you need to open your hands, surrender to spirit and receive and stop you know, holding on, stop resisting, stop resisting. We have two resistant cards here and two cards opening their, opening their arms wide open 
or maybe you were very opening open going into this new season and you felt closed you got closed off for whatever reason but you need to just open yourself up again and you are the creator of your reality i hope this reading makes sense and resonates with you if you picked a crystal you picked hematite which is really perfect for this reading because hematite releases negative energy it repels negative energy like when you think of like the magnet these crystals, the hematite specifically, if you take another hematite, they will repel on one side and they will come together on one side or it depends on what hematite you have, but usually it would connect and repel. So which side do you choose? Which path do you choose? Do you choose the path of resistance or do you choose the path of least resistance hit the like button if this video resonated with you and comment down below what this reading brings to you and remember to subscribe to my channel i upload a video every tuesday and friday namaste stay happy stay safe and i'll see you guys in my next reading bye hello pile number two if you picked a crystal you picked this beautiful rose quartz crystal and let's dive in right into your reading for the spring season. Okay, pile number two. The first card that you receive is the Queen of Air. Independence, experience, realistic, witty. Objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in the situation. You're going to receive a message. You have a shield surrounding yourself. You're protecting yourself from something for some reason. Reason. This changes a lot depending on how you're feeling. So you may be someone who is empathic, but there's going to be a decision that you have to make. You need to remove who no longer serves you. You need to set boundaries because someone is really pushing your buttons at this time and you don't like it, but you, you don't take life too seriously, but you have to clear out the clutter because uh, this is blocking your energy and it's just not really, it's none of this is serving you, the, if, whether it's a person or the clutter, it's just not serving you and you really need to clear that out of the way. But this next card we have is the Eight of Air and with this card you might be an Aquarius, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But the next card we have is the Eight of Air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Again, we have another air sign, I mean another air card, so I feel that you're someone that is really stuck in your head, you're someone who is in the mode of thought, you're always thinking, you're always in your head, you need to ground yourself, you need to meditate, but you're a leader, you're someone who's a leader, you're someone who's independent, you really know what to do in order to lead the pack and to be positive and to really get out of your head. You just need to get out of your head and do the work in order to get out of the head. And you're having a feeling of being trapped. If you're watching this in the present moment, we are in quarantine time so that can make you being feel trapped which most of us do feel trapped because we're mostly busy and continuing and doing a lot of things just moving along with life and now there's such a big pause but you have to think through decisions through your decisions and just be a take charge individual that you used to be. Now we have this card, strength number 11, which equals one plus one equals two. So you need to work on partnership, teamwork. Archangel Ariel, she is the opposite of Archangel Michael. She is that powerful, as powerful as Archangel Michael. She's the female version. Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. You need to lead your life with kindness and compassion. You have opportunities waiting for you, but you, you just need to let your guard down. You need to let your guard down. Stop resisting or stop coming forth as a stubborn energy or as a very cynical energy, I want to say. But you need to let your guard down. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. What goes around must come back up. I mean, what goes down must come back up. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Instead of powering through, which this card also rep represents like powering th through. This card is a very stressful feeling type of, when you look at the horse, it looks like she, the horse is like powering through, you know? 
you have to lead with compassion and patience like I said before call on Archangel Ariel if you're worried about how you're gonna support yourself and your family with your needs of clothes money anything that you need food call on Archangel Ariel to help you with that call on her for these desperate times for support for financial support whatever it is that you need call on her to help you you are a hard worker and you will be rewarded but let's look right into the next card and we have the four of fire which represents rewards contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project so this season you're gonna complete a project and you will have abundance you will see abundance again but here we have another circle we have a circle here so things will come full circle and you have to work with your sacral, not your sacral, your solar plexus chakra with your willpower because you're a hard worker and you will be rewarded. You just have to navigate through these obstacles and just count your blessings at this time. Let's dive in into the next card. The next card we have is number five, which five represents a lot of change happening in your life, which could be relevant because of everybody being in quarantine. But you're gonna have a lot of apps. You're gonna have a lot of obstacles and challenges during the season. But you're gonna have a lot of opportunities as well. Like I said before, you're a take charge individual, so you have to think before you act. Go with confidence. Stop being impatient. You're someone who is a business person. Keep your thoughts positive. You can't afford the negative thoughts in your life right now. But let's look in here. Mental conflict. Again, I'm feeling this is someone who is an air sign because we have air here and we have air here and this card is representing mental conflict you're someone who is really in your head and you need to figure out how you're not going to be in your head you need to figure this out because this is what's blocking you and you need to believe in yourself you need to see the truth and act with faith you have freedom and you have choices you're confused there's a lot of power struggle happening right now in your life and it's a difficult time but you have to open your mind you have to open your mind it's not impossible you, you just need to stand back for clarity don't play the victim you're playing the victim during this time and for this season moving forward you need to stop because you're worried about competition you're worried about being above everybody just you just need to step back for clarity and know that there is a lot of abundance in this world and this is where the four of fire comes in and this is you're building your foundation your foundation is already built within that but you just have to really you just have to get this mentality straight so different ways that you could do that is through meditation yoga breath worth color therapy yoga um, different ways that you can help with getting out of your head is walking meditating breathing yoga tai chi visualization color therapy all these things you could do within your home so it doesn't matter where you are right now in this season of life but let's go deeper into the cards and let's see what your goddess of this season is you have a star she's all about boundaries so maybe there's so much that you're thinking about is because it's relating to you not having enough boundaries you need to love yourself enough to say no to others that demand your time and energy because this is part of your block this is what's blocking you you are someone who is a loving giver you feel resentful you're injecting poison energies into yourself so again step back this card is saying to step back along with this card you need to step back respect your boundaries and then once you respect your boundaries other people will respect your boundaries you just need to be more assertive you have this assertive energy within you but with the, your close loved ones you tend to not be so assertive but you need to be assertive and create the boundaries with everyone around you you're a confident person you're generally confident and these two cards go hand in hand and look they both you're, you're someone who's really strong when i think of someone who has like these headpieces on their heads it's just someone that is really stable and grounded and a confident person. She's also a multi-dimensional goddess. But next, let's look into your money attraction card. I want to harmonize with what I believe is good. So there is a message behind here. Let's read it. Sorry, my camera is not focusing well. 
I want to be the best that I can be. I want to do and have and live in a way that is in harmony with my idea of the greatest goodness. I want to harmonize physical here in this body with what I believe to be the best or the good way of life. If you will make those statements and then do not take action unless you feel good, you will always be moving in harmony with your idea of which is good. So you want to take action, right? You don't want to be stuck in your head all the time. Let's look at your angel, archangel card as well for that this season and you have moon cycles archangel haniel notice how the moon affects your energy manifesting and capitalizing upon the cycles so you have your guardian angel surrounding you you have this light around you that you emanate and you do have a light at the end of the tunnel you just got to keep focus you just got to keep going and a great way to to bring more a great way to bring more rhythm in your life a great way to bring more alignment and to bring more peace in your life is going along with the new moon and moon full moon cycles tapping into the new moon and full moon cycles and really working with the new moon and the full moon if you don't know how to do that i have plenty of videos and subscribe to my channel because i upload on the new moon and full moon videos every month you need to really get in cyclical with the moons the different moon phases the next card we have is the otter and look how cute like when you think of otters they're just so playful they're just so cute and that's the nature that you need to go back to so when you look at these two cards these are really positive cards but it's you who's blocking you but but it's right there this this positivity is right there you might be a water sign a pisces cancer or a scorpio because an otter is a water animal or it's within your moon chart. Again, this is a general reading, so it, there's different people watching it. It could be for different people. And then here, we have someone who is really strong, but an air sign, and then some struggle here. And that's where this card comes in, that you need the strength. But you have a lot of strength and stability. And these cards are also on the outside and in the inside you have more of a better foundation but you just need to get rid of the blocks but let's go right into what this beautiful little otter has to say for you again the otter is all about joy playfulness contentment absolute bliss a really positive happy energy and maybe you're feeling this way right now or this is what you want to be right now and you have the power within you you have the strength to pull this out of you and th this is your animal, spirit animal for this season so put a otter behind your phone screen to remember to be joyful or put an otter a picture of an otter on your vision board however you want to do that you know you're full of love when you're in balance and when you're out of balance you make silly excuses and that's when i said stop playing the victim you don't want to be the victim you want to be the happy otter that attracts positive things to you so bring this back into balance you need to just inject the poison energies that you've been injecting during this time you need to step back respect your boundaries as well with the otter you need to just bring in a more healthy behavior in your life and you're a confident person so remember that so celebrate have a dance party bring balance back into your life at this time bring compassion lead your life with compassion and we have rose quartz which is all about self-love and love for others and compassion and kindness so get yourself a rose quartz if you have rose quartz in your house but anyway that is your reading Hit the like button if you liked this reading and it resonated with you. And definitely comment down below what these messages mean to you. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. So come hang out with me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello, pile number three. If you picked this pile, you also picked selenite crystal if you picked a crystal. Let's dive in right into your reading. All right, pile number three. Let's see what this spring season has to give to you. All right, pile number three. Let's see what this season has in store for you. We have release. Archangel Raziel, number 13, 3 plus 1 equals 4, so it's all about building a foundation. You're at the end of the phase or a situation, a spiritual transformation, a time to move on. So again, all of us are in quarantine if you're watching this right now during this time.
time. So this is really a great card because you're going through a spiritual transformation. You're realizing things that you haven't realized before. You're at the end of a phase. This is a time for you to be like on a spiritual quest, a time for you to evaluate, a time for you to balance your, your spirituality. And you get bored quickly, but you just need to entertain yourself and know what you really like to do and just really dive deep into that but pay attention and you're at the end of the phase you're building something and you have to make sacrifices for for things that you love to do everybody has to make si sacrifices it's not greener on the other side the grass is gre not greener on the other side you know social media can make it look like that like everybody's life is so perfect and everybody's got it all together and so easily but when you want to achieve something whatever it is a pr making a project coming into a spiritual transformation healing wounds it takes it takes work it takes effort so don't hold back during this time because you are in a time of release and it's a really good for you for this season we have at number 12 awakening archangel Gabrielle, again, during this spiritual transformation, you're having an awakening. You're having an end of a phase. You're, you're spreading your wings. Look at the things from a different perspective. Maybe during this time of quarantine, you're seeing things in a different perspective. You're realizing things. You're at a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Just be yourself. Because if you're not truly who you are, if you're pretending to be someone you're not, you're not gonna enjoy your life and you're gonna create blockages, physic like physical manifestations and outward manifestations for yourself. We have a third major arcana card. So in the tarot deck, these are major arcana cards. These are major events, big things happening with in this spr spring season for yourself. Life experience, Archangel Camille, a significant life event, a powerful reevaluation that leads to change. Again, a different perspective, a powerful reevaluation. It's time to spread your wings. I just said that that it's a time to spread your wings. When you look at these three cards, look at look how beautiful these are and that they're spreading their wings. So this is really a big life event for you. This is a a huge huge change. This is a wake-up call for you during this spring season. You're gonna have a wake-up call and if you're not having it, having it yet, it's going to come. It's a time of freedom and awakening. It's a time to grow spiritually. Don't overthink too much. Call on Cam Cam Camille, Archangel Camille, to find right jobs and relationships. Use the law of attraction during this time. Follow your intuition. Congratulate yourself when you're you're going through this transformation. Acknowledge yourself. Really welcome this new new event in your life. Woo! We got four major arcana cards. Again, this is really powerful. We have the chariot number seven. You're really having a lot of spiritual evaluation. You're someone who's really analytical. There, You just need to create balance in your life because when you see these horses like they're rising up, you can go a little too fast in your spiritual awakening, but this is a time for an important achievement. Self-discipline and willpower. Public recognition. Work with your solar plexus chakra because we have willpower here. The solar plexus works with the willpower. And we have yellow in the, the, a lot of these cards. So work with the solar plexus chakra to really work with your willpower. Follow your intuition and just take action. You need to just feel, be grounded, stay calm, take action, take the leap forward, welcome the, loon, the new. You might have had a job loss during this time, but this is a blessing in disguise. Even if you don't see it yet, you need to face your fears. You might be feeling emotionally trapped, but you just need to face your fears. And this is a time to move forward time to dr dream again and to daydream and stop resisting and again this card is also about sacrifice so what do you have to sacrifice in order to have this release in order to have this big event maybe it's sacrificing your stubbornness maybe it's in that way but this card is also about release so we start with release and we end in release and this is a number seven two seven plus six plus one so seven is a very spiritual lucky number it's all about 
spirituality, and then we have three here. Two plus one is three. I mean, yes, three. A time of celebration, a time to build your foundation. So evaluating, celebrating, a foundation. What do you need to release? What do you need to release? What do you need in order to transform and to spread your wings for this enlightenment? You can't control the outcome. You have to be patient. It's a period, a transition of change, a time that you might have some mental conflict and that's okay. Work through your fears, work through that. Don't have an inability to move forward, but I don't think this is gonna be an issue for you during this season. Just know you're gonna be tangled up in fear. So you need to really work on your fears because that's what gives you the self-doubt. It's the opposite of love. You already know. And it's not an easy decision, but you have to listen to your intuition and have faith. Let's look into what your uh, next card is. And this is all about sacrifice. Number three, a time of celebration. Look at that though. I keep saying all about what do you have to like sacrifice. And this is another major arcana card. So this season is huge for you. But there is a, the rainbow promise. There is that you ha you are someone who will have abundance in your life. You have you're blooming. You're you're releasing. You're blooming and releasing at the same time. It's an energy exchange. And then we have the third eye chakra, number six. You need to build stability. Release your fears again. You're someone who is really intuitive. You're clairvoyance. A clairvoyant is someone who is super intuitive and they can visually see spirit or they could just really see the, they can predict, the, their psych, have psychic abilities or they just, you see, you get messages from your dreams. You, you're just someone who is very visionary. So work on your third, third, third eye chakra and work on your, your solar plexus chakra. Work on all your chakras because this, the third eye chakra really works with the throat chakra and the crown chakra because it's in between the two. These are all spiritual chakras. And then your solar plexus is a physical chakra. But work on all the chakras to really balance everything and to just really help you keep you grounded. Let's look into who your goddess of this season is. Your goddess is Abundanita. Your goddess is Abundanita. I think I'm saying that right, Abundanita. Prosperity, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. You have to be open to receive. Like this Archangel Azurel is. You see his arms, they're wide open. And these two cards are right next to each other. But you you have the, the cornucopia of abundance. You have the fruit. You are har you either harvest or you're gonna harvest the fruit. This message, this from this reading is saying yes, go for it. You need to go for it. You need to be open to receive from others. You need to ask for help. You have the cornucopia. Notice the ideas, the feelings and the visions that you have. The abundance will flow with you. This is a money card, a money message that you have for this season and it's I'm becoming more aware of my feelings and about money. So money is going to change in this season for you. Money is going to expand for you during this season. Many people protest when we explain the power of telling as they want it to be rather than as it is because they believe that they should be factual about what is happening. But if you continue to look at the lackful what is and speak of what is, you will not find the improvements that you desire. If you want to affect the substantial change in your life experience, you must think thoughts that feel different as you think them. So this card is pretty much saying like you need to use the law of attraction. You need to bring in positive thoughts, positive thinking, but you need to speak as if you already have these opportunities. You know, work with your affirmations, do some EFT tapping to help work through your fears and everything through this. This is your Archangel card for this season as well. We have Archangel Uriel. And this is saying, trust your inner knowledge and act upon without delay. This goes along with this card because it's listening to your intuition and listening and, you know, listening to those visions that you have and really listening to what your soul desires because you know what to do. You know exactly what it is that you need to do. Just get out of your own way. And you might have to sacrifice a lot of things in order to get what you want. But we all do. It's not the one person or the other. You need to trust. You need to, you know, 
you're far, you need to light, you need to, you're someone who lights up people's lives and you just need to also light up your life as well because you're important. You're wiser than you realize. You have this inner wisdom, this inner intuition. It's really strong. Ask Archangel Uriel for your help to bring in more clarity into your life. Let's look into your spirit animal for this season of spring. And your season animal is a whale. So maybe you are a water sign. Maybe you're a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or maybe that's within your moon, your chart, your birth chart, not your moon chart. I don't know why I was saying moon chart. But you have the whale. The whale is so loving and so kind and you know, it really, the whale raises the vibration of the earth through the ocean. So you're someone, you are a muse. You're someone who lights up the world. You're someone who really, you know, raises the vibration of this planet. You really have an important mission here for the world. You're, you have such an, an important mission. So practice meditation and practice breath work. Do some color therapy, do some yoga. Balance all your chakras. Dive deep. You're having a lot of fear because you're seeing at this time, you're in a time of solitude and you're really seeing the true truth. You're seeing exactly what you need and you need to meet those needs because you're just gonna suffer in the long run. But this, the whale is all about diving deep. The whale has ancient wisdom. Like I said, trust your intuition. You're someone who is an old soul. You're very a wise person. You're someone who has a profound emotional health. You're really mentally healthy and you're stable. You're deeply compassionate. You're calm and steady. Just take this time to just really slow down inside in your emotional, in your emotional being and what is the old story that you keep telling yourself? This is a time of self-care and this is a time to change your mindset. So if you're not someone who is emotionally healthy, stabil has stability, is calm, this is who you have to, the spirit animal whale is who you need to bring into your life. You know, listen to ocean meditation with dolphins and whales. Put a light on your darkness. This also re represents that. Look at this light, light on top of the darkness. Bring it the light here's another light lighting up the darkness you need to light up the darkness ask Uriel to put your ideas into action and to help you light the pathway because again you are wiser than you realize and you just need to create a new story you need a regular self-care routine don't worry about certain things because abundance is going to flow to you you're going to have so many opportunities you have Five major arcana cards. You have a lot to celebrate during this season. If you picked a crystal, you picked a selenite, and selenite is really good also to create calmness. I love selenite. It's one crystal that I can really feel the properties of the crystal. I really like to hold my big selenite wand against my heart because it really it helps me keep calm during times of high anxiety. So maybe you're just in a, a really having a lot of anxiety and this is where this card comes and you just really need to ground yourself. So selenite, if you have selenite at home, it will really help you. It will help you keep calm and it really clears, it clears all your crystals and it clears uh, negative energy. It transmutes negative energy into good energy. That is your reading. I really hope it resonated with you. Hit that like button if it did. Comment down below what this reading, what it gave to you and what what you feel for this reading, what you feel from this reading. Subscribe to my channel and hang out with me every Tuesday and Friday and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello pile number four and welcome to your spring messages for this season. If you picked a crystal, you picked this beautiful snowflake obsidian. So let's dive right into your reading and let's see what this spring has for you. Now I know that we're some of us are, most of us, I mean, are in quarantine. So this is a general reading, remember, and we're just gonna see what, what we got, what messages life has for us. Let's move these 
over. Okay. All right, let's find out what we got for spring. We have the Knight of Earth, a loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind person. So maybe you met someone or this represents you or some like a loved one, but there's someone that you're really admiring at this time. But this card also represents a time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, and you have a guardian angel around you. You're in a new phase of your life, or you're going into one. Remember, this is a general reading. Multiple people are watching this, but your, your perspective has to change. You're moving forward from something. You just need some alone time to grieve, because I also feel like you're grieving at this time. Again, if you're watching this in the present moment, we're all in quarantine right now, so maybe there's someone that you did lose during this quarantine or you're just grieving of what's happening with for everyone in this planet. But let's look at this next card. We have the Eight of Water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So you're gonna have some emotional growth in your spirituality or your mentality, but you're growing at this time. At this time, you do have the time to do it. And it's really great, even if you feel depressed at times, but you need to create that routine. You need to stay focused and get things done. Commit to your routine, commit to your commitments. And maybe you're moving or you're moving to a new location in your job career. Something about moving, but you need to take action. There's gonna be future projects in the near future. You're someone who is an animal lover or you're someone who is a lover in of nature. With the animal or nature, maybe this has to represent this new project or this new move in a new job direction. Maybe you're thinking something that involves animals or nature. I'm not really sure where that's going, but let's see what the next card has for you. And we have the three of fire, abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make life long, I mean, well, lifelong or long-term plans, either way, whichever way you want it. But this is where this card also comes in because it says honor your commitments. And this is saying you need to make long-term plans and you have the time to do this right now. You have the time to make these long-term plans for this season, whether it's these plans that you make for this season or the next season, but you're gonna have a lot of business travel. You're gonna be traveling a lot for business. So I feel th this reading so far is going towards a project or a business tr travel, something with work, something that you're creating. And that's where the animals in nature come in because s that involves it somehow. But you're very detailed in your projects. You're very organized. Maybe you're a Virgo. But you're seeking more meaning in your life and you have this renewed motivation or you will have a renewed motivation. We have the three of air, a three of air, not hair, <laughs> air here, which is great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself and others. So at this time, I feel that there is something that's pulling you back, not necessarily pulling you back, but there's something that's just really weighing you down at the time. Maybe it's a divorce or just a relationship breakup, but there's a great sadness or a loss of a job. So make sure you take the time to heal and just forgive yourself and forgive others because your business is gonna thrive at this time, even through this time, but make sure that you focus on your feelings and during this grieving time. We have the card Fertility, which is a major arcana card. This is the Empress in the t original tarot deck, and she's all about celebrating new beginnings or maybe you're you're expecting a child or planning a family, but I feel this is more geared towards, you know, a new beginning and you need to just fill your life, fill the voids in your life with healthy things. And this is what this project or this idea, whatever this is for that's going to happen this season, this you need to bring in healthy things that where you would normally would bring in not so toxic things, but not so healthy things in your life to avoid your feelings. But you need to create this blueprint because there is a lot of travel in your life and you need to nurture yourself and nurture this project because we have fertility here. And then we have the nine of solitude and this is another major arcana. So you have these on the outside of your reading. So this is to me is saying in the long run, you're going to have 
you know, this circle of protection and you're just going to have success in this season from the beginning to the end. And we also have the number nine, so which is the meaning of time of contemplation. And then this card is the Hermit card in the tarot deck because this is also a major arcana card. So you have all these things in your life happening now and the major event is going to be really great. It's going to be birthing something new. When you look at this card, she has the book opened. It's something new, something that is going to be put, bring into fruition and you're going to have stability. You're going to have strength during this time to create that. Again, this also means uh, there's going to be some sort of business travel and that you're seeking more of meaning. You're seeking more of meaning and there's something inside you that's going to change. There's something inside you that's going to going to change so nurture your projects and your soul is calling out to you your soul it's calling out to you this is the hermit again growth growth is happening fertility is about growth as well there's a lot of growth happening in this season for you you need to meditate your soul is calling out to you let's look at your goddess card for this season and we have astara she's also the goddess of fertility so this is coming in very strong. You have two fertility cards, two of them. And then this goes along with both these cards. Uh, it's a very nurturing time for you. So maybe in the past you've had a lot of business travel and now you have time to relax. But I feel that this is more for your future versus your path. past. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. Astara, when you look in here, we have Easter coming, or Easter, by the time this video goes up, we are going to already had Easter, but her name is where East and Easter stemmed from. So here you see the Easter bunny in the Easter eggs. Just really a time of growth, you know, thinking about the springtime and the sun rises in the east, the spring equinox. Just surround yourself with beautiful things. Fuel yourself with positive attentions nutritious foods when you're feeling low because I do feel you go up and down of feeling some some lows. Let's look at your money card. This is going to be a spiritual experience for you, a spiritual evaluation time as well. My intention to unwanted attracts it attracts more unwanted. So focus on things that you want and what you do not want because for every pleasing thing there is an unpleasant counterpart for for within every particle of the universe is that which is wanted as well as the lack of which is wanted when you focus upon an unwanted aspect of something in an effort to push it away from you it only comes closer because you get what you give your attention to whether it is something that you want or not it is up to you to focus upon and attract what is wanted so that's going back to thinking positive thoughts thinking positive intentions and then we have beloved one, Archangel Camille. I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So maybe you're sad because you're you're single and you're alone or during this breakup, but this card, Archangel Camille, he's saying love is in in and around you. There's a lot of loving energy around you. So take everything that you do during this season with loving action. And Archangel Camille, his color is the pale green, like his aura is pale green, which also re represents springtime and new beginnings. So you're literally getting a springtime reading during the springtime. So if you want to invoke Archangel Camomile, Camomile, ha, drink chamomile tea to help you relax. But Archangel Camille it resonates with green fluorite. So if you have green fluorite in your house, use that crystal during this season. So let's look at your spirit animal for this season and look, you got the beautiful peacock. How beautiful is that? I also feel that the peacock represents springtime because there's so much beautiful colors that the peacock's feathers has. And look at this beautiful green and blue and uh, colors. The peacock is the assimilator of anything. The beauty in a peacock, it resides within and it extends outwardly. So this is your spirit animal for this season. This is who you have to represent and who you are. You re represent the beauty from inside and out. You have the beauty inside and out. 
and you know the peacock doesn't harbor pain so this one is right next to the great sadness card so you just need to when you look in here this is like a triangle and this card right next to it it's you need to go inward to become the beautiful peacock you know if it's the peacock is extremely rare it's confident it's kind but if your peacock if it's out of balance if you're out of balance you can't digest your life you can't digest situations and maybe you have digestion issues so really take care of your health and just meditate. You need to meditate with your solar plexus and with your willpower. If you picked a crystal, you picked the snowflake obsidian uh, crystal, which is a very grounding crystal. So get grounded, get some black crystals. Any of the black crystals are really good at grounding. If you like this reading, hit the like button down below if it resonated with you. And also let me know what this reading gives to you for subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday to hang out with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello pile number five and welcome to your spring messages for the spring season. If you picked a crystal, you picked a red jasper. This red jasper heart, oops. Let's get right into the reading to see what this spring season has for you. All right, let's uh, dive right in. We have the six of water. We have the six of water, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing about the past. So we are in, you know, quarantine time. If you're watching this in the, the present moment, we're all in quarantine. So yes, this is going to be still a reading for this whole season, but hopefully for this season of spring, we all won't be in quarantine, but maybe you're just, it says issues regarding children. So Maybe you're a parent and you're just having a hard time because you're homeschooling your child. You need to just bring in compassion, bring back in some compassion, you know, reevaluate, create more stability in your life somehow, bring kindness to yourself. You're doing the best that you can do. You're doing the best that you can do, but maybe you're just also having your a time of nostalgia. You're think of thinking of your childhood of your family, of things in your past. And this is just bringing some happy memories in your life. And you know, maybe share with this with your family and your friends. But there is an old issue that keeps resurfacing that you need to resolve. There, there's gifts within this wound. There's gifts within this issue that keeps popping up, but you just haven't seen it yet. But let's dive in further into the reading we have. The King of Earth, a generous, professional, responsible, practical person. This is a successful time. You're gonna have success in this, this spring season. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas Touch. So we have the beautiful King of Earth, and this is all about accepting opportunities. Maybe you're having, building a business and creating employees, or maybe that's like in the near future, like of a vision you have, but this, you're contemplating things and you know, this is gonna be a lucky time for you, even through all the chaos. But let's dive in. We have the Night of Fire, a passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless person, a sudden event that needs immediate action, time, is of the essence. Think things thoroughly, clearly. Don't waste your time. That's what this card is saying. You know, light the fire, you know, get things going because this is the time for you to do whatever it is that you need to do. You're a fiery person. This is a time to be passionate, a time to focus, a confident person, a leader, because we got the king and the knight. Maybe this is a male figure in your life. Maybe this isn't you. But let's dive in deeper into the reading. We got the star. The star is the sign of Aquarius. So maybe you're an Aquarius. Uh, but the star also represents hope and Archangel Jophiel. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. So this is with the employees. I feel that maybe you're a business owner. Maybe you're worried about your employees. Some sort, something with that in the realm of that. But we have seven plus eight, which is 
I mean 7 plus 1, which equals 8, because in numerology we have the numbers 1 through 9, and 8 is all about expansion. But this card is all about optimism and hope and believing in yourself. So believe in your dreams, have faith, this is a new beginning. But let's look, and we have the 8 of emotional withdrawal. So this is just a really time, I think this is the 8 of water in the, no, 8 of cups I mean in the traditional, traditional, Tarot deck, sorry, I can't speak, but we have number eight again. So this is really a time of expansion for you, a time of optimism. Eight is the infinite symbol, so it's always ever expanding. Think wider, think bigger with your dreams. But during this time, especially because it's quarantine time, there's a lot of stress in life and in the world happening. So you know, take this time to just emotionally withdraw. Maybe you're moving away. Maybe you're moving or moving away from toxic situations. You're in a search for a new beginning and this is really a great time because you have a lot of time to reflect on it. But it's a time of expansion and passion. The next card we have is Harmony, which is the lover's card in the original tarot deck. And we also have number six, which is all about stability in your relationships, in all relationships. But this necessarily doesn't mean a soulmate or someone that you're in a relationship with. It's a general reading. It depends on who's watching. There's more than one watching, but it could be. It could be someone that you're in a relationship with or someone that is coming because this is a very, these two cards are very male oriented energy that I'm feeling. It has a very male energy. This card also represents that you have a lot of choices, a lot of decisions to make. And it's just time to get into balance with that because you're someone who really knows how to manifest really well. You're a manifester, it's the time to make choices. This card also represents the mirror image because this is the soulmate card, it's a lover's card. So the mirror image, what is it that you're mirroring? What are you projecting? What are you putting out there? Cause that's gonna come right back out to you. Let's look at your goddess card of the season and we have Quan Yin. She's a very compassionate, sorry guys, I'm having issues with my camera out focusing. She's a very compassionate goddess, so she's your goddess to call in for this season. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on love and light that is within everyone. So this just speaks for itself, this card. Look, it's very pink, it's very light, it's very uh, compassionate. As the card says, it's all about compassion, positive thoughts. You need to have positive thoughts in your life. Get back into maybe creative writing. Your soul, it longs to be creative. This is your money affirmation for this season and it says wherever I am feeling good, whenever I am feeling good, I'm always attracting good. So this goes along with this, your mirror image. What are you projecting? Because it comes right back at you. What you think, when you think of a, when you think a thought of uplift, mint or abundance or well-being you are filled with a feeling of positive emotion you may trust the way that you feel as an indicator as to which side of the subject which is really two subjects you are on whether it is the subject of money or lack of it or health or a lack of it or a relationship or the lack of one always when you feel good you're in the place of attracting what you are wanting or which you are wanting so that is self-explanatory in itself. Let's look at your angel, Archangel card. We have creative writing, Archangel Gabrielle. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen or article or book. So maybe you want to create a project or create write a book. Maybe you want to be an author and this is the time to start doing it. This season, right now. You need to express yourself. You need to be creative because this is what's gonna really align you. And you also are gonna get messages. Archangel Gabrielle is the, the archangel of messages. So you're gonna receive messages, whether it's through someone, through a book, maybe it is through a book since it's creative writing, through a dream, but you're gonna get a message. You just need to really, your soul longs for expression at this time. Let's look at your spirit for this season. Your animal spirit is a bee. So you're someone who's really a hard worker and these cards explain that. You're a busy bee, your life is very busy this season. But bees, you know, a lot of people look at bees 
sometimes negatively because they sting you, but that's like the reverse side of a bee. Think of a bee in a positive way. They're very, they're busy creating. This is a creative spirit animal. So this is the season that, this is the what you need to focus on in this spring season. The bee is hardworking. It's an artist at heart. It has, it adds creative details. It's very detail oriented. And again, that's where you come in with whatever it is that you want to bring into a fruition. It's very detailed with its overall vision. So you need to be very optimistic in this and believe in yourself because you have the optimism card right in front of it. And then if you look at this, this is kind of like a triangle and harmony and you have like a lot of like light flowers around this there's a lot of blessings in this a lot of a lot of good energy around this but the bee is all about content being active and vibrant if it's not if it's in reverse it's overworked and annoyed and that's when it stings people so make sure you bring compassion within yourself and in your life. The bee also means you need a mini vacation. So after all of this quarantine, make sure you create a, a nice mini vacation for yourself. But if we look over here, cause I think, I feel like these are triangle energies and these are like in the center of everything. Have compassion for yourself cause you have the emotional draw, emotional withdrawal, and you have the six of water and this is six of cups and this is an emotional person. Very emotional on, on this side, but when we move forward, when we move past all this emotional stuff and when we lead with kindness and compassion, we get more grounded. We build more passion in our lives. We build more hope and we come on to this side and this is gonna be more towards the end of the season, in the beginning of summer. You're gonna have all this new energy, all this energy to bring in this hard-working project to create. So take care of yourself right now and in the future you're gonna have many blessings. If you picked a crystal you picked red jasper which is all about being grounded, you know, passion and it's a, just a very earthy grounding chakra. That is your reading. I hope that you liked it. If you like it, hit the like button down below if it resonated with you and comment down below what this reading meant for you and subscribe to my channel every Tuesday and Friday because those are my upload days to hang out with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!